Excellent. So, Ashley, you got to tell me all about it. What's going on with these deals? How'd you get these deals? What are these deals like? And what was the conversation like? What, how, tell me about your experience. Okay. The first summer is in Wrightsville, Georgia. Either Wrightsville, Georgia, or Warner Brothers, Georgia. Something crazy like that. Okay. So, this is a deal where I called in from a Zillow ad, but this is not the same property. He gave me another property he wanted to do a deal in. Okay. So I was going through calling him. I did get off the script, but you know, I improvised. Yeah. And he was, well, you know, I don't want to do it with this house, the lease option, but I can do it with another property. And he gave me the address, seen it. And then he's like, yeah, um, let's do it. Yeah, that's great. So basically, how that went. And the second seller is somewhere in Duluth, Georgia. And it's, um, the lady didn't speak well English, but we were texting back and forth. And yeah. I don't, I, it wasn't even like I was trying to get a deal from her. She said, when I did the automated REI, she was like, yes. She said yes, but she was wondering how does the process go. So I was like, well, I can just give her information. If she doesn't want to do the deal, it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's perfect. Right. I was like, if you have some questions on if you need a tenant, if you know, because her, her house is sitting for a little while on Zillow. So yeah. I guess she just needed help. She's not doing it with anyone. She's like a, an investor by herself or something crazy like that. So I was just texting her while she was at work, and she was like, yeah, well, you're responsible for everything. We're going to get a contract signed. Just give me give me a second. She sent her email, and she's like, once you send the email, go ahead and remind me so I can find it. Amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Isn't it fun when – you are using the automated REI and you do a blast like that and you get on the phone and they literally just hand it to you. Yeah. She literally kept throwing me the property. I was like, well, we don't have a contract. <laughs> I can just tell you some steps to pick the tenant there if you want. We don't yeah. have to do anything. She's like, no, we're going to get a contract signed. I'm giving you my email. Exactly. Now the best part of it is, is that now you know the feeling. See, now, we, I, I'm, I'm telling everybody, you know, grade these people on a scale of one to 10. Like when you get on the phone with them and you go through your setting agenda and then you, you move into the qualifications stage of this conversation, you're starting to ask your questions. You get a sense of how motivated they may or may not be. Put them on a scale of one to 10, 10 super motivated. They're giving it to you, you know, just like easy. One is, is they're the worst one ever. Uh, maybe they think you're a scam even. Um, so where, where were these people on that scale when you first started the conversation? When I first started the conversation with seller number one, I'd say, like, he was at a, a nine when we first started talking. Then when I texted him about an email for me to send an agreement then he went down to like a seven then he was like yeah we're gonna just do this then he went back up to like a 10 when i started yeah and question correct right that's how go ahead i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you ashley yeah with the with the seven number one when you told me uh, we can give you first month a uh, security deposit plus a thousand dollars he was fine with it. He was good to go. Okay. And so you worked a little, little yeah, you worked a little deal with the guy. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Selling is ready. That's awesome. So you got two, two uh, agreements back and you need to get started marketing and that's where you see your anxiety lies in today. Yes. Okay. Let's address that. Hey, I appreciate you sharing that with me and letting me share that with people. I think people are going to really enjoy that. You're going to inspire some people too. But um, yeah, super, super job, Ashley. Congratulations on that. Um, it's great. It's always exciting. And uh, but you are right. You are halfway there. We got to we got to sell these properties. So here's what you're going to do today, or whenever you get 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 to sit down to do this. 
You got, okay. you got your pen and pen and paper out or pencil? Yes, I do. Okay, you're going to start marketing these property deals in a few places that you can do them virtually right there from where you're at going into, where'd you say it was, Georgia? Warner, Georgia. Yeah. Uh, you need Warner. to find, uh, you need to find the um, Facebook marketplace and, and get pictures. You got pictures? No, but I can get pictures probably. Yeah. You got to get some pictures and get it on the Facebook marketplace. Now you're not going to want to put down how much deposit is, or down payment is required. You're just going to use words like this lease with purchase or lease to purchase reasonable down payment required. And you might put the value of the house. That'd be fine. But you definitely want to put three bedrooms, two baths, one car garage, whatever it is, and some nice pictures. And you want contact information on there so they can reach back to you. Okay. Got it. And that's on Facebook Marketplace. Yes. On Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. You also want to go to a place called Hot Pads. Hot Pads. Yep. Yep, and you want to post it there. Okay, you also want to try to post it in Craigslist. See if that works. They might let you do it once. Okay. <laughs> they, they might let you yeah. get away with it. Got it. Okay. Now, I want to show you one other thing that's going to be important because uh, you're going to have people respond to you uh, on from these ads. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be prepared to have these conversations with them. So I've got a document that I put together. It's real simple, but it's a, it's a nice refresher, a reminder. Okay. Now you have stepped in the position of controlling a piece of property. Okay. So congratulations on that. Uh, Thank you. now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to maintain that position in your mind as you are doing these things, having these conversations, you're going to want to act like you're the authority here because you are, you have something these people want. They uh, may or may not have the money for it, but that's what it takes to do the deal. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to share my screen with you here real quick. And now remember the same rules apply when having conversations with these tenant buyer prospects, the same rules that applied with the homeowners when you were calling them. Okay. When they call, you're going to go through the three steps. You're going to go through the set and the agenda. You're going to go through qualification stage and you're going to go into a closing stage. Okay. That's just, that's just the same system. So we're just going to, we're just going to tailor it a little bit for the tenant buyer. Now, I don't know, I'm sharing my screen with you here and you can see there's a few things that you want to be cognizant of when you're qualifying these tenant buyers in that qualification stage. Okay. Hi, my name is Ashley. Yeah, I was uh, returning your call about this property at Blah Blah in uh, BFE, Georgia. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, I was interested in it. How much y'all asking for that rent? Well, now, wait a minute, sir. Let me, uh, it's a good question. Uh, but let me, let, let me ask you a few questions. And you can ask me a few questions like that. And then if, if it's not something that's interesting for you, that's okay. You can just tell me, no, it, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, but I wanted to ask you, sir, uh, are you interested in renting or are you interested in owning? Because this is a, this is a, a plan, a program that takes you from renting to owning. Is that what you're interested in doing? Okay. You can see I set the agenda. Now I've moved into the qualifications and, and you can okay. see I'm following my, my little script here. I've got, it's not a script, but it's kind of my bullet points. It's my reminder sheet. So I want to make sure they're not just rent, wanting to rent the place. Okay. It's important that they want to be owners. So then I'm going to 
in the qualification, I'm going to ask them about their rental history. I'm going to ask them about their income. I'm going to ask them about the, what kind of money did they have to put into being a homeowner? Okay. okay. Now I'm looking for, you know, I'm looking for some, uh, 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 that's another good point I should have brought up. When you go to do your, your ad, you want to make sure that you don't put the purchase price the homeowner gave you down. You want to mark it up for your profits. Yeah, don't forget that. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So that's, oh yeah, you weren't seeing the screen cause you weren't on zoom. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. But now you are right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, this by the way is in the training modules of the four weeks to your first virtual wholesale lease option deal over, over at the real estate wholesalers club.com. So you can check it out over there. If you guys want it, it you know, uh, not just you, but anybody can grab it. That's what I mean. Uh, so, uh, yeah, grab it, grab it, use it, print it out. If you can keep it right there by your phone. So when you're responding to these people, you kind of, you know, can keep track of your qualification stage a little bit here <laughs> and what you're, you know, what you're, what you're going for. Keep your eye on the prize, you know? So, um, all right. So I want to know how much money they got to work with. And I also will uh, let them know that, Hey, you know, it's, it's fine. If everything sounds good so far, I'm going to let them know that it's fine for them to take a look at the house. If they, if they're interested and, uh, but there will be a tenant screening if they want to move forward. And, uh, and, uh, that, that will cost a little bit of money on their part, but that it's, uh, it's definitely worth it if they want to own a home. Okay. So yeah. And, then basically, uh, after they've looked at the property, they like it, you know, gosh, it just gets easy. It's so easy. They're going to love it. They're going to love you. They're going to love the deal. They're going to want to put some money down on it. You're going to want to take that money and put it in your pocket. That's how it works. So it's really not that complicated, really not that complicated. Right. It's like, it's like leasing a house out with the option to buy it because that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. You, yeah. you, you're doing great. So I do want to ask about four two, four bedrooms to that. You want to ask about that? What What are you saying? Yeah. Like, do we go into that? Because I do have some maybes on four two. Yeah. I mean, one of these properties is a four bedroom, two bath. No, I haven't. They're both three two. Okay. So what's the four two? A four two is on automated REI. They did say I have one yes and one maybe. I think. I'm not sure. Okay. So it's so just. Can I move forward with it or is that not something I should be doing? A four bedroom, two bath? Yeah. 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 Take them all. I don't care if it's a one bedroom, one bath. Now, it's not bread and butter right it's so it's it's not the perfect house but it's still yeah. a, it's still a really good one you know i mean you know so go into it knowing that it may take a little longer to sell or it may you know it, you may have a um a family that's a little more sophisticated wanting to get into it or a little larger family but right. you know but but yeah yeah might as well give it a shot i mean if you can get the deal get the deal it didn't cost you nothing right but you might make something right yeah so Condos and townhomes, not just single family homes. You know, I yes, I can. I, I'll do condos and townhomes and apartments, as long as okay. there, as long as it's in an area where townhomes, condos, and apartments sell. Okay. You got it. Because, for example, I'm in an area right here where to, uh, townhomes, condos, and apartments are only for rent here. You couldn't find one to buy one anywhere. Oh, see. Here in Georgia, townhomes are kind of hot. Like, yeah, they, the second seller, she has a townhouse, but it's like in Duluth, and Duluth is somewhere like, oh yeah, everyone get into. Yeah, yeah, Duluth, Georgia. Yeah, I would definitely, yeah. I, I, I would definitely go for it there if they're if you can see on your online that their their properties are not just like these are these are townhomes for sale. They're not just for rent. Um, you know, the, the problem is, is if you get a deal on one and it's just all, you know, 
nobody's ever really buying or selling these are just rental properties, then it becomes hard yeah. for you to sell. Yeah, these are hot because I, even before the lease option thing, I've always dealt with sellers and townhomes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with it. It works the same exact way. And in fact, um, I've done a townhome before. Like I said, I'm in an area where it's not real popular to, to buy and sell townhomes and, and stuff like that, lofts and condos. And uh, there are some, but not very many around, really. I've done it and I found it to be easy, really, because you're dealing with the blue, you're dealing with blue collar people here, you know? All right. And the townhouse is so, so, so nice. Like, it's somewhere I would want to live. So I'm thinking, yeah. like, it's going to go. Yeah. It's yeah. Right. Yeah. Be prepared. Be prepared with that one. Um, I would be. Yeah. That's, that sounds like what I had experience with, too, with mine. It was really nice, too. And, uh, man, I had people calling me and hitting me up on that right away and wanting to see it and wanting to do all that. So, you know, it's a great situation. There's no harm in trying ever. Exactly. Are you excited or what? I am excited. <laughs> you don't have to say I am excited. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm, you know, it's so hard wholesaling. With, they say it's like a 99% chance of failing. And it's like, this is almost like dummy work. Yeah. Like, do this in your sleep. Yeah, everybody makes it so hard. And it's like, what? Like, you're just talking to the wrong people. Like, you know, you get them on the phone or on a scale of one to 10 motivation level, 10's being great, one sucks, and you're, you're trying to get threes in the boat. Right. And the automated REI is like a life saver. Oh, yes. Automated REI it is the jam. Uh, that's my jam. <laughs> and it's cheap, exactly. And it's cheap. It's pensive. It's you can great. buy anything. It's, home. it's so easy. It's awesome. Automated I love it. REI is where you're going. If you don't have anything else, you need automated REI. Absolutely. I 100% agree with that. I agree with that. Well, um, you got questions for me, I'm sure, and and uh, some things that maybe you want to talk about I didn't talk about yet. What 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 you got? See, that was all I wanted to know about the four twos because I have people with the four twos, the four threes, the five fours yeah. wanting to do an option. Yeah, do it. And I was like, should I go for it? Yes, go, <laughs> go, do it. You got this. They're begging you. They love you. The world is your oyster. Right. <laughs> got it. All right. That's super good. Well, um, congratulations again. And uh, you should post it on the Facebook group or somewhere. You should tell people that you're doing good because you are. And yeah. uh yeah, and I'll 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 vouch for that. I'll vouch for it. You're 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 gonna you're gonna be my star student if you're not careful. We did talk about that our first conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. That's great. Well, good, good. You made me happy. You've made my day, Ashley. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> Shut up, money. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is Motion Real Estate.